Hi everybody, welcome back to another Techie Thursday video. Today we're gonna go through deposit link, but in a more simple way, just to kind of show you guys how you can request money um, from your buyers, or if you're on the list side, how you can request money through the buyer's agent to the buyer or directly to the buyer if they don't have an agent or if you happen to be on both sides of the deal. We do have a more in-depth training video of an actual training that the agents, the admins and the managers also did. So if you're looking for that, that's a little bit longer. It's about an hour in length. If you're looking for more details, uh, feel free to send me an email. I can send you that video. Or if you search in your email history, if you type in like deposit link training, it should come right up. But let's get started here. So for deposit link, what you want to do is just go to depositlink.com, which we have up here, your login. I have mine saved in here. You guys should have your login. There should have been a link that was sent to you that had the information you need to log in. If you have any trouble, feel free to reach out to me. I can reach out to corporate and get this information for you. But I'm pretty sure it's just your common moves email and then you would just hit forgot password. It would email you a reset and then you can get right in. So let's just log in here. The first thing you're going to notice is that there is a verification that gets sent to your cell phone. So that's the first thing you want to look for. So I'm just going to look here for it as I just got it. Um, this is just for an authentication to basically prove that it's you. So they'll send a code to your cell phone. You'll get the text, you'll put in what the code is, and then you'll just hit login. I can see everybody in the office, so just ignore that screen. You will only see yourself there. Uh, but basically what you'll wanna do is, you'll go under deals and you're gonna wanna hit create a new deal. This is the first step in getting that money. So you can see here, select deal type sale or rental. Right now, we're taking earnest money for sales only. We are working to get the rental side where we will soon be able to take rentals and commissions through this. But for right now, we're just doing sales. Um, so as you can see here, choose agent. You can just put, this is where I could pick and do it on your behalf if you had any trouble with it. But you would just say I'm the agent as sale. And this is where you can pick your role. So if you're the listing agent and you're looking to get the money from the buyer's agent to the buyer, um, you obviously would be listing agent. If you're the buyer's agent, you just select buyer's agent. So whatever your role is, you would just pick. As you can see, the fields are basically the same. So this is what it looks like for a listing agent. As you can see, connect to buyer's agent. We'll go through that. And then as buyer's agent, pretty much the same thing. It just doesn't ask you who the buyer agent is because obviously if you select that, you are the buyer's agent. So let's pretend we're on the list side here. So what you'll do is you'll put in the seller's first name and last name. So let's just say it's Bob Jones. Um, then here you put the address in. So let's just say 123 Main Street. It will default in here too, as you can see, like if you start to type it in, you'll start to see addresses coming up here. So you can select it that way, or you can just type it in yourself. Since we're doing like a fake one, I'm just gonna do it this way. So let's just say that's it there. Um, and then what you would do here, you can put in a reference. So some people will put in the MLS number. Um, you don't have to, you can if you want to. Anything obviously with the asterisk, you would need to put that information in. So up to you if you wanna do that. Here I would suggest doing just because it will, if you put your email address in here, um, you will get, as it says here, a detailed PDF receipt that will be sent to the email address you provide when payments clear. So if you put your email address here, you'll get that email notification when those funds clear. You can also log back in and you can look and it will also show you, you know, status is pending, status is cleared. So you can know that way as well. But obviously I know you guys are really busy and everything. So if you want to, just a quick way to know, just put in your email and it will just send you the email and then you know you're good to go. Um, so that's where you would do that. The last part would be to connect a buyer's agent. So if you're going to be going through the buyer's agent to the buyer, that's typically what most people will do. If there's, you know, you're as a listing agent, then there's the buying agent. Um, typically that's what you would do here. 
you can uncheck this, say if you have both sides of the deal or say there's no buyer's agent or whatever the situation may be, you can always uncheck that. You don't need to check it. But if you want to connect the buyer's agent, which like I said, 99% of the time that does happen, you would put in their email address here. And what happens is the information gets sent to the buyer's agent. The buyer's agent then sends it to the buyer. The buyer makes the deposit. Once the deposit is made, you'll get a notification. And then when it clears, you'll get another notification saying the funds have cleared and then you'll know. We also know on our end too. Um, so you don't need to you know, email and say, oh, the funds cleared or anything. We also have a way as well as escrow to go in and see that. So let's just pretend that this is an agent double um, just because I don't wanna put in a buyer's agent in here and then them actually <laughs> reach out to the buyer's agent. Um, so we're just going to unclick that. But again, if there's a buyer's agent, put it in there. So then at this point, you would just do save and continue. And then as you can see, we have a, the deal number. It's active. The property is here. The listing agent, you know, it'll have your information here. And the next part is the buyers and earnest money deposits. So the first step is getting the information in. Second step is requesting that money. So what you wanna do is click here and do request earnest money deposits. And then in here, um, you can put in the buyer's name. So you put in the buyer's email address, buyer's first name, buyer last name. You, again, um, this isn't required, but you can put their address if you want. Again, just with the asterisk is required. Then here you can do set deadline. So every time you go to do this, you will see they always default the deadline two days out at around the time that you're doing it. So I'm doing this video right now at about 10 a.m. So it's showing it around 9 a.m. Um, in two days from today because I'm doing this on the 15th of July. Uh, but you can change this. So this is just like a standard you know, deadline, basically telling the buyer, hey, you have until this time to send this money. Um, but again, you can change this. So say if you wanted to do it sooner, you know, you wanted to do it later, you can do that. Um, again, so just put in that deadline that you want there. Here would go the amount. So whatever that amount is, if it's an offer deposit and it's going to be a thousand or five thousand or it's a PNS and it's whatever it is, just type in the amount here. So say it's a thousand. And then as you can see, um, it's automatically going to choose the destination, which is our escrow account um, that would notify escrow. So you don't have to do anything with that. You would just leave that alone. And then at this point, what you would do is once you have the email address, first name, last name, deadline, amount, and destination, you would do save and request. I'm not going to click it just because if I do, it's actually going to request this and it's going to make it um, an active, you know, active deal and reach out and everything. I don't want that to happen, obviously. So, but what you would just do is hit save and request. And at that point, it's going to reach out to, if you did the buyer directly, it's going to send it to the buyer directly and say, Hey, so-and-so is requesting a thousand dollars for one, two, three main street deadline, July 17th by 9am or something like that. If you were to connect the buyer's agent, it's going to just send that to the buyer's agent. The buyer's agent is going to send that to the buyer and they're going to make the payment. Um, again, when you put your email in that spot that I had mentioned, you'll get the notification when the funds clear. So you'll know when it clears. And that's basically it. So if you were to be on the buy side, again, it would be the same thing. It would just be directly to the buyer. Um, and then that's, that's how you do it. So if you guys have any questions or if you need any help, I am able to go in um, on your behalf. If you send me your login information, I can go in. I just would have to be talking to you to get that verification code that would go to your phone. I can help you with that if necessary. Um, but that's basically it. So if you guys need anything else, uh, just let me know and I hope you have a great day. I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye.